Hello everyone, this is Jason Matthew from We Can EduTech, where we make using technology in education simple. In my past videos, we look at how to use virtual backgrounds and video filters, how to make your PowerPoint slide deck a virtual background, and how to blur your actual background. Links in the video description below. Today, I'm going to show you how to create your own background and add that personal touch to your Zoom meetings. We're going to use a program called Canva, C-A-N-V-A. I love this program as it empowers anyone to create amazing visually appealing assets without requiring the technical expertise of a graphical designer. To access Canva, I will use my Google Chrome web browser. So I click on Google Chrome, it opens up a window. In Google, I'm just gonna type in Canva, C-A-N-V-A. I click enter and right there is the www.canva.com. I click on Canva and now I'm on Canva's website. Now, if this is the first time you're using Canva, then you will need to create an account. There's a free version and a paid version. You get a lot from the free account. In fact, I am doing this demo using a free account. There's a 30 day free trial of the paid account that you can check out as well. Also, if you are from an educational institution, you might qualify for the premium account for free. Okay, so enough talking. Let me log in and show you how cool this program is. So I've logged into my Canva free account and this message came up immediately saying that if I will qualify for um, a free upgrade, if I'm a teacher and I can verify. So, so you could click get verified now and verify your credentials. But for today, I'm just gonna show you what you can do with just even a free account. So I'm gonna click maybe later. And now I have access to my Canva account. Now there's a lot of things you can do with Canva and I strongly urge you to explore the, the interface and, exp and see what you can do. But for today, we're just gonna stay focused on Zoom. So I'm going to go in the search bar here and I'm gonna click Zoom virtual background and you see the, the size dimensions for a zoom virtual background is 1280 by 720 pixels so I'm clicking on this and now this gives me all these options so I can use all of these all of these are freely available for you to use as a zoom background so you can use any of these and customize them to your liking or you can actually click on this plus sign here where it says create a blank zoom virtual background and create something from scratch. So we're going to do that at first and explore the full features of Canvas. I'm going to click on the plus sign and then this carries me to the interface here. And as it says here, it's a blank screen so we can do anything on this canvas. Now you want to go to your control panel on the far left here. And this control panel is going to allow you to do many things. So we are not going to be able to explore everyone in detail, but I'm going to quickly show you some. So if you click on photos, it gives you a, a library of photos. Some of them are free to use, some of them are not. So if you wanted to use this photo, you just click on it and it comes over on your canvas that, that is preparing your Zoom background. So I'm just going to delete this. You can also add elements. So you can look for different elements that you want. So if you wanted to use this, you click on it, it comes over. So you could customize your Zoom background within the canvas there and put anything you like. So like on text, I could click text and then there's a whole set of free fonts that you could use. So I'm gonna click on this one and then I could just click on it and I could customize it to whatever I want. So I could just put in my name, I can highlight it and then I can go to the top here and I could change the color if I wanted to anything I want. I can bold it, I can italicize, and I could even now go and change the font here by clicking on this drop down arrow. So there's a lot of things that you can do. And then and then if you want, you can um, you can move it and, and all of that. And then you can add audio files as well. You could add some video if you like. Um, but we're not gonna, we're gonna keep your Zoom background very simple because at the end of the day, you also don't want your Zoom background 
to be too busy and distracting, right? It's just supposed to be a simple background. Speaking of background, if you click on background, then you could add a background to this file here. So you could click on any one of these colors and so on. And then when you are happy with whatever you have created, then you click on download and then you click download again and it will download this background that you just created into your downloads folder. There are some options here that are faded out and as you can see, there's a crown symbol next to it and that's for the premium paid account. So I don't have those access to that, but that's fine because this is the correct dimensions for a zoom background 1280 by 720. That is the typical background dimensions. And as I click download, I will have a PNG file that I can then upload to zoom. So this is if you are starting from scratch and you really, really want to get that customized look, this is one way to do it. You start, you start with a blank canvas. What I'm going to do now is look at some of the op other options that um, there are prepared canvases that we could use. So let's look at that now. So I'm going to close this off and reopen a new Canva page. So I'm back on Canva again, and I'm looking at the different options. And what I'm going to do now is do one that is already available to use. So I'm going to click on this one. This one, Algebra, looks, looks appealing. So I double click on it and it opens up. Now, you can do add some further customization to this. So like for instance, I could click on Algebra and let's say it was a chemistry class that I'm teaching. So I highlight the word Algebra and I just type in chemistry. And just like that, I have started customizing this to suit my needs. So I could change all of these. I could click on these things. I could even change the color of the board. So like if I click on it, you see all the colors up here are the colors that are presently in this image. So if I decide I want to change the, the green, let's say I want to change the green to, I don't know, red. See, it changes. So I'm just saying that these are some of the options you can have. So I can change it to other colors and so on if I wanted. Now, if the, if the brown border is not the color I want. Let's say I wanted a, a darker color. I click on the brown color, that's the color for the image, and I go over here and I change it to black. So there are different things that you can do to, to, to fix up your image. All right, and you could also add further things. Like I could go on elements, and for my chemistry, I could say I want a test I want to get some test tube images there. All right, so I'm just looking for a, you know, a test tube. Now, if you hover over some of these things, you can see the word pro there. Pro means that you could only use those images if you have a paid account. Because it's a free account, I won't be able to use these images. But there are also some really good free ones. Like this one is a free one. So I can take this and I could put it somewhere here. You know, and um, I could even resize it. So if you go over the circles there, if you hover over the circles with your mouse, you get those double arrows and then you can resize it to whatever size you want. So I could just put it by the word chemistry there. Now, and, and, and so you could explore, you could change the background, you can do a few things. So this is, this is pretty cool. Um, before I download this, let me just change some of these colors. Uh, I was just demonstrating, so I was going kind of extreme, but this is a little too extreme, even for a demo. All right, so I'll change that. I, I actually like the green that was there before, so let's change the pink. So I click on the pink. I think that's pink. Uh, whoops, no, no, no. Let's get something a little less extreme. All right, now well, that looks much better. So once you're happy with your design, you then go, go over to the top right here, you click download. As I said, you then you click download again, and it's preparing your design. So since I'm using Google Chrome web browser, you can see that the image has been downloaded and it's ready there in the bottom left corner. I can click the up arrow and I can click um, show in finder or you might see show in folder if you're using a Windows computer. So I'm going to click show in finder. 
and there's my file there. So my file is in, the, in my downloads folder, so I know where it is. All right, I could, we could look at it, we could double click on it. So this is what it looks like. All right, so the moment of truth, let's go into our Zoom and see how this will look as our background. So I click on my Zoom desktop client and I'm going to just start the Zoom demo meeting. So I click start. All right, join with computer audio, I click on that. And then I can actually turn my video on. So I'm going to turn my camera on. So that's me with my sunny background. I'm going to click on the top up arrow next to the camera icon there, or the video camera icon. And I'm going to click choose virtual background. Now, so the, so you know you could you could blur your background and you can do this. We have all we have looked at that before. But what I want to do is add the background that um, we just created so i'm going to click on the plus sign and you see the prompt there add image or video so i click the plus and it's an image that we have so i click add image and then i go to my downloads folder so i click on downloads and there is my um background that i just created i click on it and i click open and there we go. So I can um, now close this window. As you can see, it's it's there in my background. Now, if you watch, um, it's back to front, right? And if that is happening, then you might have to uncheck this one, mirror, mirror my video. So if I uncheck that, as you can see now, it's over on the right side. And you just have to do some adjustments to get some of the things, other things out of the way. Like my mic is coming up, so I'll just... I will just move the mic away as you can see it's it's already getting there all right so I could just close this off now that I have my background set I can magnify this so you could see so this is pretty much it and so you could position yourself a little more to the right if you want to get that right in the background there there are other things you can do with zoom backgrounds please have a look at my other videos links on the left and in the video description below Thanks for watching. Please share, like, and subscribe. Stay safe. Bye-bye.